Hey, here's a 50,000 foot view of Make It In Harry's Foundation and Production Company. This is not a deep dive, but more of just like an overview, and we'll start with Megan. One of the reasons why I do admire them so much is because all of the work that they do, whether it's the foundation or the production work, is all based on their past achievements. So let's take a look here at her write-up, just skipping around. Her advocacy work on resilience, equality, and compassion through action has been recognized. She's received awards. She went to middle and high school at Immaculate Heart in California. I do have a pinned post where she talks about it on her podcast. Then she went on to Northwestern University in Chicago where she double majored in theater and international relations. It goes on to talk about her lead role on the hit series Suits, which she starred in for seven seasons. And I'm thinking that's how she became a self-made millionaire. You know, the first one to marry into the British royal family. And she was an UN's advocate for women's political participation and leadership. She was a World Vision Global Ambassador, and she was also a counselor to One Young World. She also participated in a USO tour. Great connection to the military. Oh, and she married the most popular prince on the planet. It goes on to say that she's written for a number of publications and created the lifestyle website, The TIG, which we've covered before on previous posts. The Duchess of Sussex guest edited British Vogue in July 2019, which was the fastest selling copy in the magazine's history. I got my copy here in America. She and her prince founded the Archwell Foundation in 2020 to support communities in need. It says that they are committed to their mission, show up, do good. They hold the value that charitable work should not simply be a handout, but rather a handheld, a phrase Megan first adopted in supporting UK charity SmartWorks. Then she and her husband founded and oversee the production company R12 Productions. In 2022, Megan launched Archetypes, a record-breaking podcast exploring the labels that hold women back. Archetypes debuted at number one in the US, UK, Australia, Ireland, and New Zealand. I absolutely love this podcast. I listened to many of the episodes on repeat. <laughs> she is also a New York Times bestselling author. She wrote the picture book, The Bench, which I have my copy and I bought several to give away to people. And also together, our community kitchen, which was, it says, a collaborative publication with the women of the Hub Community Kitchen in the UK who were displaced after the tragic Grenfell fire. The book debuted as number one on UK's Sunday Times book lists with proceeds going to the Hub Kitchen. Megan is a major advocate for mental health, family care, and gender equity. The Duchess hopes to be a cultural catalyst for positive change, reflecting her core beliefs that representation matters and that communities can be enhanced through learning, healing, and inspirational support. Megan lives in California with her family. Next up is Prince Harry. He is a humanitarian, a military veteran, a mental health advocate, and environmental campaigner. It says he served 10 years in the British Armed Forces, including two tours of duty in Afghanistan as a forward air controller and an Apache helicopter pilot. And then after that, he founded the Invictus Games Foundation, a platform for wounded, injured, and sick service personnel to engage in sport to aid in their rehabilitation. Prince Harry is also the founder and or patron of a number of global charities and organizations, including Travelist, Sintabali, Well Child, and sits on the board of African Parks. In 2021, he was named Chief Impact Officer at BetterUp, a world-class coaching platform that helps people everywhere achieve their own peak mental fitness. That same year, he served on the Aspen Institute Commission for Information Disorder. And then along with his wife, he co-founded the R12 Foundation and R12 Productions. And also like his wife, the Duke is a New York Times bestselling author for the book Spare. I highly recommend, it. especially the audible version. He narrates the book. Hera lives in California with his family. And I just want to wrap up by saying that arch well is a compound word. It says arch, Greek word meaning source of action, and well, a plentiful source or supply, a place we go to dig deep. Love wins. Hey, 